When the CEO forwards an email, usually people try to work out the deal. That's it. Okay, give me one more tip and then we'll let you go. Okay, so another thing that I want you to end up doing is go out there, and, and this is a simple marketing tactic, right? So figure out who your ideal audience is. Let's say your ideal audience is a company, and I'm going to make up the name like um, Walmart. All right, everyone knows Walmart. They're a huge company. So LinkedIn is so powerful because you can get connected with anyone and find anyone's information. And there's a lot of sales tools out there like hunter.io, which gives you emails. And there's yeah. just so many out there. So what I like doing is I go and I figure out what I'm trying to sell. So let's say I'm selling marketing services to keep it simple. Yeah. I'll email the CEO of these big companies like Walmart and Target and Costco or Amazon or whatever, maybe Apple. And I'll email the CEO. And I'll say, hey, John, hope all is well. I know you're busy. I have this thing that will help uh, you, you generate more traffic or more sales by X percent. Uh, I already know you do a little bit of it, but it can be fine-tuned. If you can introduce me to your CMO, it, you know, because I'm pitching marketing. Uh, if you're pitching sales, it may be VP of sales or whatever it may be. If you can introduce me to your CMO or director, that would be great. Uh, hope all is well. Take care and enjoy your weekend. All right? Casual email. Super casual. A lot of times the CEO will just forward it over to that person. When a CEO of a big company forwards it over to an employee, actually if a CEO of any size forwards it over to one of their employees, they usually respond. Yeah. And when that person emails me, even though I didn't know the CEO, they take me serious because they're like the CEO messaged me. Oh, you probably know him. I don't know how you got in touch, but they usually assume that I know him. I never said I didn't know him or anything like that. I'm not trying to be de deceiving. Mm -hmm. I'm just straight up trying to create a conversation. And uh, I, I do casual because they tend to respond more when it's casual. But when the CEO forwards an email, usually people try to work out the deal. Brilliant. It's an easy way to get in the door, top down. So I don't quite know what to say to all of you right now. I'm literally sat here in full of gratitude and joy because Neil is somebody that I've followed for a long time and he literally is the number one guy in the world at what he does. And while some of you might not have heard heard of him, I'm sure after listening to that episode, for sure, you like him a lot more now and he's got some great ideas and he shares some great information with us. Look, this podcast has been a journey. It's 18 months in. We're at episode 100. We've enjoyed literally every single episode. We've interviewed some just phenomenal people along the way. I know the big names like Tony Robbins and stuff like that are out there, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee and whatnot. But there's also been some other people too, some some people that maybe aren't as big in the, in the media space as some of these guys are. And I just want to thank every single person that has made time to come on the show, share their stories with us, inspire you guys and me okay with their stories and their um their inspiration really and what they're about and what they're trying to achieve so if you want to go and see any more or listen to any more of these podcast episodes then you can do yourself a favor and click over there but what i'd like you to do and it's something for me asking you on my hundredth after giving you all this value is maybe click over there where you can subscribe and if you subscribe then you can get every single episode coming to you every single week and I know for sure, after being on this journey, as long as I've been on it, okay, you will get lots of benefit from it. Take care, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Spencer Lodge podcast.